Why do nurses need to know about drugs? How to use micromedics? Micromedics is an evidence-based point-of-care tool that provides access to drug, disease, toxicology, and patient education information. You need micromedics because sometimes patients may already be on a number of medications and their doctor is prescribing more medications to deal with the current diagnosis that admitted them to the hospital. Using the drug interactions tool will help you talk to your patient about possible side effects and adverse reactions. It will also provide insight on what to expect from the drug interactions, such as a lower heart rate or increased monitoring of vitals, etc. So we're back on our nursing research guide. From the last video, you should still be on this point of care tools and clinical information tab. We already went through Dynamed Plus and up to date. So I'm going to scroll down and I can see this Micromedic Solutions image. The link to access Micromedic Solutions is here. So I'm going to click on that link and it'll open Micromedics in a new tab. This is what Micromedics looks like. These are all the tools that you have access to. But we're going to look at the Drug Interactions tool. I'm going to show you how the drug interactions tools work. So we're not going to be using the medications that our patient has for this example. I'm going to pretend that we have another patient in the next room over. And she is on Coumadin. And the brand name for Coumadin is Warfarin. So I'm going to type Warfarin into this box. These are all the names that have the word warfarin in it. I'm gonna pick the first one and I'm gonna use this first arrow that looks like a greater than sign to move it over into this box for drugs to check. So now we can see that warfarin is in this drugs to check box. So our patient is on warfarin or Coumadin and the doctor has decided to prescribe her some Aleve because she has a headache. So I'm gonna type the word Aleve and these are a brand name again, and these are all the names that Aleve is included in. So as you can see, we see some Aleves for sinus and headaches, Aleve D for de decongestion, um, Aleve arthritis, but I'm just gonna pick this first Aleve. I'm going to use this gray box to move it over. So now you'll see that in this drugs to check box, we see Aleve and Warfarin. So I'm gonna check drug interactions between these two medications. I'm gonna scroll down a little bit. This blue submit box at the bottom Micromedics checks all types of interactions. They check drug to drug interactions. They check for ingredient duplications. They check for drug and allergy interactions. And they also check for drug and food interactions. But we're just looking for drug to drug interactions right now. We can see that there is one interaction between the two medications that we're looking at. The severity of these two medications is major. It has fair documentation. And the summary is that concurrent use of anticoagulants and NSAIDs may result in increased risk of bleeding. So question five on our worksheet says that the patient has been prescribed new medications to help with the current symptoms. Using micromedics, enter home medications and newly ordered medications to find drug-to-drug -drug interactions. Copy and paste the drug-to-drug -drug interactions into the space below. Looking at our patient case scenario, we can see that our patient is complaining of shortness of breath. We have already decided that he is coming in with a complaint of pneumonia. We see his past medical history, we see allergies. Here is where we can see home medications. We can see that he has 
four medications he takes at home regularly, lisinopril, Pomacord, Singulair, and Lantus. If I scroll down to the bottom, I can see the orders that have been put in for this patient. The doctor has put in orders for oxygen, and he has also put in orders for five new medications, including antibiotics. I know this is another pain medication. So these five medications have been ordered, plus his home medications. So that makes nine medications that we'll be checking for in this patient. So back onto Micromedics, we're going to click on Drug Interactions once again, and you will type in each of the nine medications into the search box. Once the drug match comes up, pick the first one, move it over into the drugs to check box. You will need to have nine medications in this box before you hit submit. Once you hit submit, only look at the drug to drug interactions and copy and paste that into this section here. If you have any questions, please call us, text us, or reach us at this address for any assistance.